Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the bizarre magic of Brian Rushwood. As much as I love uh, doing a you know weird freaky out kind of magic, the problem is that I usually work adult venues. Now don't get me wrong, I love working for the grown-ups. You guys are the best. You're the smartest, hippest, funnest crowds I ever get to work in. I thank you guys for that. Which nobody cares about, that's great. <laughs> uh, but, the, uh, but the downside is that uh, I don't know what to do when people call for like birthday parties and kid shows. There we go. Uh, now, I want the money, but, uh, but it's like, you know, nobody wants some weirdo sticking nails in their eyes at little Johnny's birthday. So, <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> so I made this new routine. This is not my usual style. I'm going to try it on you guys. We're going to branch out here. With any luck, this should be the routine that lets me cross over to the lucrative world. Of children's entertainment. I have a special friend. He lives inside this house. His name, Mr. Happy Pants. <laughs> Mr. Happy Pants is awfully shy. Just maybe we could get him to come visit. First block, make him feel extra loved. So on the count of three, I want all of you guys to say, Hi, Mr. Happy Pants. Just maybe he'll come visit. Ready? One, two, three. Children. For four thousand years I rolled the other world. You shall know the name of fear, and their name shall be Mr. Happy Pants. <laughs> Mr. Happy Pants. I understand you're going to do some magic for the children. It is true. I shall summon forth my dark powers upon the stage so that you shall know the true meaning of evil. Are you guys cheering for evil? Is that really what just happened? It's... You guys are sick. <laughs> Are you going to do that all by yourself, Mr. Happy Pants? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tickets. I require a victim. <laughs> Mr. Happy Pants, we say volunteer in magic. I'm sure you mean volunteer. Bring your sacrifice now. <laughs> All right, Mr. Evans needs a volunteer. He likes girls. Let me get a grown-up girl. I don't want to traumatize anyone. Who do we got here? Y'all, you don't mind coming up here? Yeah, she's excited. For you. Let's give her a huge round of applause as she comes up here on stage. Gotta admit, it always freaks me out when girls actually want to meet Mr. Happy Pants. That didn't sound right. Uh, let me get you to sound right there. That'll be your spot. Hi, I'm Brian. What's your name? Angela. All right, Mr. Happy Pants. Angela is all yours. Angela. <laughs> Look into the eyes of Mr. Happy Pants. You are powerless to resist the will of Mr. Happy Pants. Now, it was Angela. Jackass, Angela. Reach forward and touch the manly chest of Mr. Happy Pants. Just, just feel his chest, make sure there's no tricky apparatus in there. Everything's, that's not exactly his chest you're going for down there. That's, yeah, there we go. That's, although I'm sure he appreciates it. About to make a Mr. Very Happy Pants. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's my hand inside the puppet, right? It's not like a fake rubber hand. Everything's completely the way it's silence. silence. No, Angela. Reach into the box and remove the object from within. Sure, <laughs> Excellent, let me grab that there, Angela. There you go. Now, Mr. Happy Pants needs you, Angela, to reach forward and point to the center of Mr. Happy Pants' chest, a place you can definitely feel flesh. All right, I'll mark that spot right there. You might want to move your finger. I want you to feel above, below, and all the way around that spot. Make sure you feel the flesh by palm all the way around. Check the back as well. Everything checks out. All right, there we go. Now, Mr. Happy Pants, it's time for your big... Children's Magic debut. Now, foolish mortals, you shall observe the incredible power of Mr. Happy Pants. Feel the chest of Happy Pants. Do you feel flesh? Excellent. Now, Angela, raise your hands above your head. All you 
the audience. Raise your hands above your head. did such an amazing job. You get a very special gift. You did so well that you get the extremely rare, extremely limited edition, extremely sought after Mr. Happy Pants is watching you t-shirt. We're joining us up here on stage. Let's hear it for Angela. She did a great job. So uh, people always ask where I get the idea for like the uh, Mr. Happy Pants, and at first like I had this vague notion of an evil puppet doing a kid's birthday party, which I thought was hilarious because a jackass. <laughs> so, so I just spit. Uh, and so I bought the puppet in the distorter, and I would like improv. I would make stuff up for my friends, and they all thought it was hilarious. But they were drunk. And uh, the, this is a totally true story. The first time I ever performed it for an actual audience was at a magic contest. I don't know if you know this, but magicians have these giant contests where thousands of them try to oh, wizard each other. It's bad, really. It's, so I entered in the comedy category, and I get up on stage, and I look out, and I don't know what came over me, but I look out at the audience, and it's 800 magicians, and they all look exactly the same. They're all exactly 73 years old. They're all out of shape. They're sporting the exact same creepy molestache. And, and before I could think about what I'm saying, Mr. Happy Pants, he goes, I require a virgin. And so I'm like, oh, Mr. Happy Pants, that's not appropriate. I don't even know if there happens to be a virgin in the audience. And he says, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a magic convention. <laughs> I didn't win. <laughs>